so I have copied this um, two folders here, contract and the app for module 11. I'm gonna commit this. Now we're gonna do a few chains, small few chains. Okay, the next thing the, the next thing we're gonna do here is to remove a few files that we're not gonna need. Gonna remove contract let's let's rename let's rename this vesting to thing. Also, let's rename the vesting contract here file to um, meeting policy. So this is the cabal file. Now we have this meeting policy and the meeting file here. The flake here, we're gonna, gonna do a small few chains, naming chains, gonna replace vesting contract with police. Here at the about file, I need to replace this. this just renaming things here we're gonna rename this to minting and in our main file we need to rename vesting to mint So we have the our mean file now instead of just vesting. Here we're gonna rename this module to me. That's it for a while. Our DF folder. With small chains too. The flake we're gonna rename testing contract to meaning policy. And finally, let's lock chains in the flake, right? Because we have chain the contract flake and also the, the app flake. So, first in the contract, I'm gonna run nix flake lock to update the log file and in the dapp gonna x flake lock here too and you can see that we have added the meeting policy and removing the testing contract that was there before Testing. Now we're gonna add the Haskell language server in the contract to help us to, to deal with uh, the documentation. We're gonna change this flake here. So we're gonna need to do small changes here to add the Haskell language server. Okay, so we're gonna use Haskell language server here. And to be able to use the Haskell language server for the ID, I'm gonna need to change this because Haskell language server was coming from the incorrect place. 
Okay, so I'm gonna need to use the Haskell language server for the version of J JHC we are using here. So basically, I'm gonna need to remove this SQL package, SQL package JHC. Okay, which is the version that we are using uh, here. And also, I'm gonna change this. It's coming here. Talk about Unix to use a more user friendly version of that. We can just use um, develop package. This is gonna give us more options to the dev shell. I just need to. And this actually the this receives the root parameter this way. Pretty the same thing like before, but here we are using a a better uh function to build the package for first build the Haskell package first. Okay, with that we have access to the dev shell and better tooling. Beyond that I'm gonna add here the git ignore the dist in style here. The fo this folder is from Cabal, so you can use Cabal in the shell if you need to. And this does not need to be in the repository. Now I'm just gonna add Haskell language server. So now we can have proper proper docs also in the code given that we are inside of the Nix shell, right? So now I want to add here serve docs that uh, utility tool that we have we are using from the Hicks package and here in the in this also in this version because uh I need to check the docs to see the type signatures of the functions and so on. So I'm gonna just change this flake here to support the serve docs that we have in the Hicks template we are using before, but for this specific use case here, so I'm gonna add here a new derivation called serve docs. Actually, we're gonna just reuse the, the serve docs from the Hicks package, right? So we're gonna import that from this path to this path here. I'm gonna create that very soon, and we're gonna pass the inputs and the context. And some argument here, which is pretty the same as as the Hicks version. So we are adding here um, additional package. For some reason, the Cardano API is not building, so I'm skipping that. Also, the Hot Bluetooth is not building, so I'm skipping that for a while. And I'll leave the notation here, so at some point we can fix that. So I'm gonna expose this as a package here. So it's gonna be serve docs. And we're gonna add this in the shell. So we can call serve docs in the development shell. Of course, uh, I don't have this context anywhere here in this file. This is actually this. Uh, this variable here, so you can have access to the inputs. If you need. we're gonna also need to use Plutus, uh, Plutus repository, so we're gonna add this as inputs here just to generate Plutus docs. It's pretty the same thing in the Hicks uh, template. Okay, with that information, we can r write our version of serve docs in the serve the serve docs dict serve docs file. Let me create that. Dict serve docs. Dot nick. Just save this one. So here is basically a a copy and paste from the Hicks template we are using to. I have just changed 
a few things here, I guess, which are related to the failing uh, packages, right? So every package that was failing to build the docs, I just keep it for now, for now, for now, for a while, you know, at least we can have access to, to, to some packages, not all of them, but some critical packages are available to be able to, to see the docs. Remember, you can, if you Struggling with that, we can just use the docs from the this where where L here. Uh, it's available online. You could have problem of different. You could have like a different uh, version that we are running here. So I recommend to use the Nix the serve docs from here to not have problems with uh, different uh, up, outdated documentation. You know, but this also works and. If you if you if you're not seeing any function here because it's failing to build to be built here, you can just get the same function here, right? If you need to. Uh, but let's move on. I'm gonna also change develop package here. Uh, I'm gonna just remove this disable library profiling. I don't think we need that. It's from the it was in the template for for the horizon platform but i don't think we need to that so i just removing that and that's it now yeah actually correct right this way okay okay I, now i'm gonna close everything here and run a nix play clock so we can have that Bluetooth input updated in the flake clock file gonna fetch a few things okay now we have added this bluetooth um, input and have a few few things to commit here and i believe we can just run let me add everything here. I believe we can just run serve docs to have access to the docs. Oh, actually, there is an error here. Let's see now. Okay, it's running. In here is the docs. So you can have access to the function that will need to right to the docs okay let's move on Okay, if you're gonna, let's try to open here. Development shell. 